Hello guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today uh, I gathered uh, another part. This is my uh, retro PC project that I want to start using, of course. Uh, I'm going to show you the motherboard so you can have a closer look. Uh, what we have right here is the um, VR chipset and also the processor right here I believe is 900 megahertz the seller couldn't tell me exactly because he was in a hurry and I was too but we're going to find out in the part 2 of the video what kind of frequency has the processor as you can see he has the heat sink for the socket 370 and the fan that you can uh, remove or clean or uh, whatever you want to use of course and uh, it has the AGP 4X or 2X. It can also run in 2X mode. We have the uh, three uh, slots of uh, memory. So you can install here three sticks. In my case, uh, we're going to go to one, uh, one stick of memory. This RAM, uh, I couldn't find uh, many of them on the, on the internet. Now let's start with the model. We have the uh, MSI uh, 6309 version 1.0. Here we have the salt bridge. Right here we have the uh, uh, CMOS battery and uh, there is a jumper right here located that you can uh, reset the BIOS. And of course the 5 expansion slot that it makes the motherboard so amazing because you can uh, install here many things, many the expansions uh, like the sound card or the Voodoo 2, Voodoo 5000 no, Voodoo 5000 works on the AGP actually and uh, yeah, you can use your imagination to even the uh, network card of course or the modem that was uh, made back then on uh, dial-up and we have the award bias I, I really like this bias I didn't like the American Megatrans, but uh, this one was awarded as he has uh, so much color and uh, the contrast was um, very nice. And also the options were different anyway. And the next thing I'm going to show you is the video card. I also purchased the uh, video card. This is the uh, ATI. Okay, let's hope that the Okay, the camera will actually focus. We have right here the ATI Rage 128 Pro Ultra, 32 megabytes, and using the is not using the DDR memory. Instead, is using the SD RAM. Okay, and the capacitor seems to look fine. They were also marked with the marker, I'm not sure why exactly. But the heat sink seems intact. It doesn't have uh, any trauma or uh, bump or scratches on it. Looks fine. These are the memory. And the memory stick. And this is the uh, 128 uh, uh, megabytes. It has two little notches right here that you can uh, install right here located on the motherboard. One and two and the second. And uh, I'm going to test the parts. Uh, see how, uh, uh, how it actually works. My intention is to use this for retro PC and games of course. And uh, see what exactly what we're benefiting from. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is the power supply. Uh, what I have right here is the uh, another Delta power supply. Uh, let's check exactly what it is. This is the Delta Electronics Incorporated. It has the uh, max power as uh, 350 watts. On a 12 uh, rail volt we have the 18 amps, on the 5 volts rail we have 30 amps and for the 3.3 volts we have 28 amps so this power supply looks very decent 
Uh, I can tell you that it's very heavy. Uh, I like the metal, how it's made, and uh, uh, the components uh, looks like it has uh, quite high quality inside. High quality components, definitely. And we have here the switch for the off and on. Let's check the connectors. 20 pin connector, we don't have the 20 plus 4, this is only 20 connectors connector for P1 and also the P3 also has only 20 okay we have uh, another power for the uh, this one here was used often for the Pentium 4 or the AMD platform so you can use the connector separately for the processor in here there is uh, not the case so we don't need the uh, we don't need this connector for the CPU we have the Molex, three Molex, four Molex connectors, right here, and the connectors for the floppy drives. That has only two exactly. Yeah, I like how this uh, cable management is uh, cable management is made by uh, Delta. You also have this uh, thing here that is actually holding with the, with the two. Um, plastic uh, things that are actually holding the wiring together so you not get uh, any movement you know and yeah okay so by next, I'm going to tell you the prices for this I paid uh, exactly uh, 35 euros for the video card I paid uh, 5 euros for the SD SD RAM I paid 15 euros and for the power supply I paid another 25 euros I know the prices are quite quite high but uh, in my country the prices uh, are not very low compared to other countries anyway um, this uh, this thing I just want to uh, at the end I just want to tell you that these things uh, over time will uh, their value will increase uh, like uh, at least double yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the part 3 of the video. Bye.